When the Olympic torch arrived in Beijing today, there was no sign of the controversy that the torch has sparked. But as the torch left on a worldwide relay, it was obvious from protests taking place in other parts of the world that it would receive a much different welcoming ceremony elsewhere, from Nepal to Australia, and even here in Los Angeles. Protesters took to the streets to demand that international inspectors be allowed into Tibet, where activists say recent riots and clashes with the Chinese government have left at least 140 people dead and hundreds more imprisoned. They are uh, fearful for their lives because, you know, if they have any sort of sentiment towards the Dalai Lama or about free, uh, freedom or certainly their right, rights, certainly they, they are being arrested. Here in Los Angeles, protesters staged what they called a die-in to represent some of those killed during the recent troubles. But an exact accounting of what's really happened in Tibet has been hard to come by since the Chinese government has banned news reporters and others from the region. Even so, the Olympic torch is still scheduled to pass through Tibet on its way back to Beijing, something the protesters say needs to be stopped, at least until independent observers are allowed back into the area. First of all, the China should allow the international media and the reporters inside Tibet. Why they hide the Tibet from international media? Open up the China, open up the Tibet, show the current situation in Tibet to the outside world. Then the world will decide what is their situation inside Tibet. Chip Yost, KTLA News.